Hello everyone. Welcome to Everything Cars and More. Today I am going to review the new Seat Ibiza facelift. Let's go. So let's start with the petrol engines. You can get two 1.0 liter engines. One with 94 bhp and another with 108 bhp. The 108 bhp can have a DSG gearbox as an option if you want to. In the future there will be a lower 79 bhp model if you want. The price starts is £16,495. So the overall design at the front has not changed that much. Only people who brought the old car will know the differences. So the big difference that happened to the front is the new headlights but that is it. The grille's upper and lower as well as the side vents and the bumper are the same. It's a shame but at the same time it is not because I guess the customers did not want a lot to change. Along the side there are no changes apart from some new wheel options. The overall design then is okay and better than the Polo. At the back it is the same story. Nothing has changed apart from the lettering to match with the other Seats. So this is the exciting part. We have something that has changed. We have a whole new interior compared to the bland pre-facelift one. So let's start with the dashboard. Unlike the old one the trim panel is a lot thinner and is more like a shelf this time which adds a 3D effect to the dashboard rather than it being a flat one. The air vents have moved from the top of the dashboard to just above the climate control and the infotainment has moved up higher so it is eyeline with the instrument cluster. Talking of the instrument cluster it is all digital this time and in front of that we have a new steering wheel which can now be had in Nappa leather which is very nice. We also have a new infotainment system that is in the Seat Leon and newer Tekka. Finally we have some new color options on the air vents rather than it being plain. Very good interior for a Super Mini. So you're not going to buy a Super Mini for its rear seat space but the Seat Ibiza is the best out of its rivals. You can fit two six-footers behind each other in okay comfort. Although it can do it I would recommend getting a bigger car if you are constantly going to do it because children would be best suited in the back seats. So the boot size of the Seat Ibiza is 355 litres with the seats up and 1165 litres with the seats down. So in summary then the Seat Ibiza is not a bad car. It is actually quite a good car and it is way better than the Vauxhall Corsa and has a lot more style than the Volkswagen Polo and to be honest better value for money for what you are getting. It is just a shame that the facelift was not a bigger facelift. If you want a super mini then go for the Seat Ibiza. If you like this video, then please do not forget to comment like and subscribe. Thank you.